Our first impressions are really, really positive. I can tell already, although admittedly we are still on the outskirts a little bit. We really, really love this city. Today we're going to Ljubljana in <laughs> Slovenia, which is a mouthful. I've only just learned how to properly say that. I hope I got it right. Yeah, so I'll put the spelling on the screen. That is how it's spelled. So to us, yeah, it's very complicated. So we love we love scoping out really underrated places, and we've heard so much about this little city. Well, no, it's not a little city. It's a big city. Yeah. It, is, it is the capital but of Slovenia. But apparently it's quite charming, which is I think probably why you said little. Yeah, exactly right. So yeah, it's, it's apparently there's quite a little feel to it in terms of the, the touristy bit in the middle anyway. So yeah, we've been spending all of this time in Zagreb oh. and we basically had the chance to shoot away for... We can get away to a new country. So that's pretty cool. It still blows our mind. Yeah, love it. That doesn't happen in New Zealand for us because we're just so isolated to be able to get on a bus, which is where we are right I now. I know, we'd end up in Rotorua <laughs> if we did that back <laughs> And then spend two and a half hours and go to a new country and somewhere that is cool and underrated and, and charming. Yeah. And yeah, so that is the plan for today. We're probably gonna do two or three videos. We've got a food tour as well, which I am really looking yeah. forward to. But now the bus has literally just arrived. It's nice and early, it's 9.30, jump on. Two and a half hours? Two and a half hours, we should be arriving around lunchtime. What I want a box trip. <laughs> Made it to Slovenia. I never thought we'd say that. <laughs> no, we didn't. We knew that uh, this Ljubljana place was going to be cool, but we didn't think that we would ever get the chance. It didn't seem oh, like it was going to work, so we we're pleased. It in. No, we had not factored in at all. We, so I don't know if we mentioned this. We booked this yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so the, the interesting thing with the border run, crossing borders by land is never fun. No. This one took a long time. Yeah. It took an hour and a half. But the interesting thing was that the Flix bus that we took, they factored it into the um, yes. into the travel time. Yeah. So they they almost got it right. It was like half an hour off or something. But it's really only an hour and a half of driving from Zagreb. Yeah. But we were told on our tickets it was going to be two and a half, and that was because the other hour was literally just spent sitting around doing nothing really <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> yeah. Stace got a good sleep. I was watching beautiful countryside. Loads, oh, loads, of, <laughs> loads of churches and these big open fields and yeah, and we've just driven in now, really cute looking place, just on our way to our Airbnb and then we're gonna just extreme tourism. Yeah. Just hit, Lucky I am. Just hit everything we can in one go. What an awesome place. It's so cool. I love all the, um, all the colours and everything. So like, it's so minimal and it's designer, so isn't it? Apparently the, um, Host is an interior designer, and you can tell. Okay. So this is the bedroom. Apparently, really comfortable bed. Haven't slept in it yet, obviously. No. Wow, I haven't even been here yet. That is awesome. Do you notice that the ceiling's pink? I can't actually tell the colours. The old colour blind thing. Massive shower too. Through here, nice big open plan kitchen. Wine fridge. Wine fridge. No wine. No wine, but it did. They did uh, left us a couple of beers. Got some beers though. Yep. And then out here. Look how clean and everything. Away. Such I love nice the style. Finish. Little balcony. A bit of a view. So we're going to go now somewhere and find. What was it? Uh, find some food. Yeah. It's a. We've been recommended by our host, who's really awesome, by the way, to go to this uh, bistro which serves breakfast food all day. Which sound, we're sold. <laughs> sold on that. I'll put a link below if anybody's interested in checking this place out. If you're popping into Ljubljana as well, because yeah, we're stoked here.
walking for like five minutes and already we've walked past so many cool cafes mm. and they're in an area where there's this real cool mix of old and new yeah it's 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 awesome it is really awesome so we're just on uh, like a river riverfront here there's one of the many bridges this probably isn't one of the famous ones but there's a lot of bridges around that we're going to try and hunt out today and then on the other side here you've just got what looks like a completely abandoned building don't know if there's anything going on inside there but probably don't so, want to know <laughs> no probably not so it's like on the face value there's all of this newness but then there's yeah a lot of a lot of this old warehousey feel there. going on as well yeah we're heading in deeper now yeah there's uh, no people currently no i think because we must have been walking in a really commercial sorry a residential area yeah. and now we're about to get more into the the touristy sort of spots but I, think I suppose we're only about like a 10 minute walk from the main area yeah that's one one of the reasons that we knew that it would be easy to come here for a quick stint was because we were told it was so walkable and that's one of the things that jose our um our host at the airbnb said that anywhere that we showed him on the map of the things that we're looking at doing today is sort of a you said a 10 minute walk with yeah yeah between each other kind of thing that makes life so much easier you can see so now it's opened up very different feel instantly And more of these cafes and little spots out on the so cool. on the walkway here. Yeah, it's a really nice feel to the city already. Our first impressions are really, really positive. I can tell already, although admittedly we are still on the outskirts a little bit. We really, really love the city. Um, reminds us a lot of Berlin, and we're trying to put our finger on, we're trying to put our finger on why river around the outside so it's a little bridges it's a little walkways it's the little places like this on the outskirts there's like this artistic sort of feel with some of the um street art yeah a little bit grunge a little bit rough around the edges everybody's on bikes and like scooters and stuff going past um and it's just peaceful it's just quiet everyone's just out walking their dogs and everything and it's just there's just this relaxed sort of vibe to it and that is just really really nice so it's funny because the restaurant that I pointed out, the cafe that I was like, oh look, there's these cafes out on the walkway here is literally the place that we were coming to. So we just sat down, we got some iced coffees. Um, seven euros for the Eggs Benedict, which is apparently really nice. It's very small, I will say that. Um, yeah, they use euros here as well, which surprised us. Uh, and then we've got a fruit um, granola bowl as well. And then we're gonna slowly, slowly make our way into town. Only about a five minute walk down some laneways, is that we would call it? Like little yeah, it's single like a road street. street. Yeah, but they, there were bikes and stuff too. Yeah, lots of stuff closed. There is lots of. Um, it's Saturday today. Yeah, normally things are closed on Sunday, which is weird. I don't know why yeah. everything's so shut down today. But we've made our way to the Dragon Bridge, which is one of those things that it's it's like iconic in little little. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it is. It's one of those things that you read about and you, and everyone says that you have to visit it. So we did. And we're like, okay, cool. Yeah. But it's, like, it's, it's cool, but I like everything else around it. Maybe. Yeah, it's we don't know why there's dragons. I actually read that originally when the bridge was made, it was it was some sort of a marble. So it was one of the first concrete ones oh, that okay. had been developed. And so that's why it was famous. And it was supposed to have winged lions. And then somehow they ended up with dragons. Oh, oh. Yeah. Very, All the artists very, got that wrong. <laughs> very random. So up on the top here we can see the funicular that goes up to I think where there's a castle and stuff up there. And then the views out, which is what you're saying, right? It's everything else around the bridge is a lot nicer, like looking down across the yeah. water and everything. It's beautiful. So more walking streets along this way, then we're just gonna keep sort of wandering and just taking it all in. Just scared off some people because we were filming them, <laughs> but we weren't filming them. We were filming the Dragon Bridge, which is down there, and then this is a little. It looks like you can walk along here, and there's arts and food and ice cream, and there's always ice cream. And then look how cool this restaurant is down here. So wicked. We're not we're, fancy enough to dine there. No, we're not fancy enough for that. And then we found our way to the square, which is actually a circle. 
This is where all the people come. This is where all the shops and food and everything is. And also is right next to the tri bridges. Triple bridges? Three bridges. The tri triple three bridges next to the triathlon sign. But we're just curious. Why is there three bridges? Why why are there why are there three bridges bridges? Right. <laughs> three, three bridges. That coffee, they all go to the same that coffee place. hit me so hard, I'm buzzing. <laughs> they all go to the same place, they cross the same river. Why is there three bridges right next to each other? But they seem a lot of bit pointless. It does seem a bit pointless. I suppose it, it, it distributes the, the oh, crowds. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. One of them looks like you could drive down, the other two are just for walking or scooters or the guys that we've seen on the little motorized things going yeah. up and around all over the place. Those are cool. <laughs> it seems like it seems like there's <laughs> What's that? You got on the train? Are you the driver? It seems like there's loads of different streets and options that we can take here, but again we can see back up now. This is where the funicular goes, up towards the castle there, but our host has told us if we go up there at about 7 o'clock is when we get the best view back down over the city. We don't actually know what this statue was about, but we were trying to sit here and actually listen, <laughs> listen off the back of this tour group. Just, just piggyback on the stories that were being told, but we felt a bit rude, so we've walked away now. Yeah, it's weird, there's a mixture. It's peaceful down some of those ends, and then when you go over this way, it looks crammed. We're actually, for a change, going to go and join the people and see what the draw is down here. Shops. That's uh, that's what everyone was hustling around for. That's why there were so many people, because H&M, Mango, Zara and Co are all on the streets. So this is Zara here, Stacey's inside. Check this out, this dog. Oh, it just stops. Look, it's back. It's just been staring at me. Like, looking at me directly, just going, oh, oh, just crying. I don't know, it's just sitting there with his owner. We're going to try and find a way now to um, go get someone that we can get a drink and then the casual bus going past. Uh, someone that we can get a drink and then go and find, um, there's a park apparently which is really nice to walk through, really peaceful, nice and green, uh, be a bit of a change of pace. I've been sitting right here in the window waiting, I just got a message from Stace, where are you? <laughs> you lost! Yeah, where'd you go? I was just sitting on the window. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oops. We're gonna go to a park down this way. Oh, yeah, okay, cool.